A supplier of metal rods looks for flaws before it's dispatched to its two customers. It no it knows that the number of floors follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of 3.4 per metre. Determine the probability of exactly three floors in one metre of metal rod and give your answer correct to three significant figures. Determine the probability of at least one floor in four metres of metal rod. Give your answer correct to six significant figures. This uh, question is going to illustrate the point of what's known as the unit interval in a Poisson distribution. So we'll have a look at that now. So let x be the random variable, the number of floors per one metre of metal rod. I've written that in red for a reason. Therefore, x follows a Poisson 3.4, because we know they're 3.4 per metre. And the probability that x is equal to x is lambda to the x e to the minus x over x factorial. So in the first place we want exactly three uh, floors, so we'll just use the calculator to calculate this. So the probability that x is equal to 3 will be equal to 3.4 to the power of 3 e to the minus 3.4 divided by 3.3 3 factorial using the fraction button and the e button and the factorial button will get an answer of 0 0.218617. We're asked to give it to three significant figures, we get 0 0.2192 to three significant figures. Right, now we've got to determine of at least one floor in four metres of metal rod. So we're going to let y be the random variable of the number of floors uh, per four metres of metal rod. Now, the unit intervals change from one to being four, and therefore y will follow a Poisson distribution of four times the mean in one metre. Therefore, y will follow a Poisson distribution of 13.6. Now, these tables probably don't exist in a level, so we're going to use G-algebra technology in order to solve this problem. And we will so solve it to six significant figures. So, y is Poisson 13.6. We want the probability at least one floor, which is the probability that y is greater or equal to 1. And we do that doing 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 0. So using the PDF, so we'll go to our computer and we will open up a GeoGebra. So opening up GeoGebra and we'll make that big. And if we go to options to begin with and then look at rounding and we'll change it from the standard just to be 10. OK, we'll need to do that first. And then we'll do View Probability Calculator. We'll make that big. We'll pull this bit uh, uh, up. We should be really familiar with this now. And we will select a Poisson. And we'll change the, the lambda to be 13.6. And we want more than uh, 1 to begin with. OK, and we can get the answer straight away from here, 0 0.9999999, if we uh, round it off correctly. If we want to use the uh, CDF, then we'll have to go to this, perhaps scroll it up, and do 1 minus the one I've highlighted there. OK, so that using that, we would have to sum all these probabilities up, which would probably take us a long time but we could get the answer directly from GeoGebra from this here. OK, and then using the CDF, we'd have to do 1 minus this value here. I don't think these tables actually exist in A-level. So the same principle, 1 minus 0 0.50 is 12405. Just make sure you read the table correctly. It gives you 0 0.9999987595. We want that 7 or make that 8 and 9. So the correct answer to six significant figures is going to be 0 0.9999999. So there's quite a high chance, a very, very high chance, there will be at least uh, one floor in four metres of rod. Maybe we need to reconsider the manufacturing process. OK, hope this video has been useful. hope you've understood. And I thank you very much for watching.